Wow. All right, guys, can you see the caterpillar here and the way it sticks against these branches? That's insane. And this explains why uh, under ring moths, the caterpillars are rarely found in the wild. You have to be really lucky to find one. Usually the only moment people see them is when they start to pupate and that's when they uh, walk away from the host plant sometimes. Other than that, they're absolutely extraordinary camouflage makes it very hard to identify them. Like it almost melts into this piece of branch. Very great. As you can see the caterpillar is actually quite big at this point. It's actually not fully grown by far. But it's getting there. And uh, I want to say for the past few years my channel has been like, oh, Saturnid, 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 Saturnid. Um, Emperor moths or Saturnid moths are amazing. They are still one of my favorites. But I kind of want to change how my channel is only Saturnid Central. And this is, is a part of my effort to bring a, a bigger, more beautiful diversity of insects to my channel. And underwing moths are actually very cool. Underrated animals. I wish more people studied them and their life cycles. The amount of species there are on this planet is amazing. There's like 300 species of these guys and they all have different colors. And here we see a young caterpillar. As you can see there's massive age differences in my breeding. Because some of the eggs of this species they hatch way later than the, than the early eggs. So you have like, um, this could be like three weeks age difference. It's really pretty cool. These species are absolutely gorgeous. Just look at that. Whoop. Wow. The white underwing from, um, from Canada and North America. Really a special species to have on my channel. Really special. All right. You go, my friend. Super. Ah, oh, there it is. Trying to blend into the environment. Amazing.